I was saying a private mass in the church and hardly had I started than there was a tremendous storm and a very loud thunderclap. The lights went out and I could tell the church had been hit. So I checked around, I stopped the mass and made sure that there wasn't anything going on. I looked out to see if any bricks had fallen because you felt the air pressure change and all that. Now that's been the story that sometimes people think did all the damage to the church. But by and large, it didn't do much more damage than this, the electric. But we went up in the attic nonetheless. It was time to give the building a good look-see. And they found some serious structural issues there. And in October, the uh, inspector of the building condemned it. A temporary condemnation, of course, because saying you gotta fix these things. You cannot use it for worship. So immediately, all activity stopped in the church. We hired a company to remove the things from the building. And after that, we started worshiping in the gym where we've been ever since. But I've been to more meetings combined than they did for the Magna Carta, the Declaration of Independence, and the building of the pyramids. And some people have said, well, why not just tear it down and start over? But this is a classic building. It's an icon of the neighborhood. It's really one of the most historic buildings in the whole city. And it would be a shame to lose it if it can be saved. And we're still doing our fundraising right now. We're in the very active donation stage of it. We're about halfway to our goal, I'd say. Uh, it's about a 5.5 million project. And if they add the stained glass windows in, which is now under consideration, that will throw on about $600,000 more to the project. We have a, a website, St. Mary GV, and you can find a donation button on there. Uh, if you wish to, you can also uh, mail us at 672 South 3rd Street, Columbus, Ohio, uh, or stop in the office. We're open uh, Monday through Friday in the office, generally around 8 or 8.30, up to about 4. I'm hoping that one year from now, you and I will be standing here, uh, not in this spot, but in the church, and saying, well, next Sunday will be the reopening.